Hi YouTube, it's Nene. It's Jesse. And it's the caption. You can see what we've been to be talking about. So, as you guys know, I had a baby. Well, you might not know, but I had a baby. And this is the father. And we've been to be talking about like the things that we went through through the pregnancy. So, when I found out I was pregnant, um, I got fired from my job. He didn't have a no. He got. Did you no, get fired? He didn't have a job. So, yeah, we yeah. was doing like real bad. Like yeah. it's like it was bringing a lot of stress to me when I was pregnant. It was just he like took four of them just to make sure she's pregnant or not. But when we found yeah. out, it was, it was like hard. Like so, I um. I got fired, he wasn't working. So it just brings so much stress when I found out that I was pregnant. Like, this is the worst moment to find out. Like, we didn't have like a place together, like stable place, like everything was just horrid. And it still is horrid, for real. So he um he had got another job. Where are you still working at? Uh, I think I think it was Jack in the Box? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's still working at Jack in the Box. And we had a plan. Like, we were trying to uh, get a car. We was trying to get a place because it was real cold. We had to walk and stuff like that. And I was pregnant. And we were trying to, like, you know, just store from somewhere. So, after I got fired, I had got hurt at a steak and shake. And I was working there for three days, y'all. And then the steak and shake had got shut down out the blue because the roof was peeling or some stuff like that so it really got right back hard like we, i got happy like i'm like i'm pregnant i just started a job i can make some type of income just for me to lose it three days later so i was hurt about that sad about that and then then it was cold outside yeah we had to catch the bus, so. we had to catch the bus like yeah. all the time like back and forth to work and stuff like that and then the job that i was Everything. working at was real far and he had to walk all the way to his job sometimes and that was like 30 minute walk and it was like really cold outside and i had found another steak and shake but the steak and shake that i had found it was like three bus rides away and i was like yeah i was still pregnant and it was like real cold outside so I went to the interview, I went to orientation, and then I just thought, like, I couldn't do it. Like, you know, when you're pregnant, you get real sensitive, like, and emotional and stuff. Like, I was just thinking, like, I can't do this. Like, it's cold outside. This bus ride is, like, three. It was, like, a long bus ride. Like, three different buses I had to get on. So, I decided not to go there. And he decided he was working for, like, two weeks, but his manager, like, was mistreat him and stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. So we uh he quit his job and we just didn't have no jobs, no car, no stable place to live and like all this going on why we just found out I'm pregnant and it's like we finna bring a baby into a situation that we going through like it was just bringing a lot of depression. Like, I was so sad all the time. Yeah, like she was anxious as hell like, yeah. to get... Oh, I'm sorry about the job. I, she was so anxious like to, like, get an apartment and stuff. Like, like if, to, if you were a female and you had a baby young, like, you just thinking about... You're not trying to put this baby through nothing you went through. Like, I wasn't trying to put my baby in no situation where she had to be homeless or you know didn't have nowhere to take her i didn't want to go through that or get put out like or be in somebody else's house yeah you know so it's like it brought so much stress on me because that's all i was focused on like i gotta do this for my baby like i gotta do this for her like and it was just bring like i thought i never could do it like i was hurting y'all every day i cannot even sleep i'm thinking like how's we finna get a place how's we finna do this like it was hard as heck and I didn't know what to do after that. So, after that, boom, we both started working at Arby's. We oh, both yeah. was working at Arby's, getting paid a little bit of nothing. It was $9 an hour. Man. They was giving him four yeah, hours. Man. Four nah, hours. Not, not even four. They was giving me three hours. 
they was giving us like him little amounts of hours, me too. And I couldn't work as much because I was like almost five months pregnant. Yeah. And like, I used to like feel sick all the time. And so not to we mentioned, man, when we was working out, they had it, man. Like, yeah, we had to do so much stuff, man. It was crazy. Yeah. So, I really ain't really like it. I ain't really like it as much, though. So, yeah, we had to do a lot. So, yeah. and I was sick one day. No, we kept working because we know it was stuff that we need before yeah, our baby so get here. So, we worked up until we got like a paycheck, and then this one we had got a car. So, everything was going to look cool. We like, we got step one away, we got a car. And then um, I start working at Arby's and he start working at Arby's. So we both were jobless again. I start working at Arby's because I was real sick and we had rush hour and I was rushing trying to help, you know, help everybody because we were short of staff. And I'm helping everybody and I'm like feeling so sick. And I asked the manager, like, can I take a break because I am pregnant and stuff like that. And she was like, no. So I had called MLMs. I couldn't do it. Like, I was really, like, feeling, like, so drained. Like, hey, I had to man, I don't know what it was, bro, but I was feeling them. I was feeling like that, too, man. He said he was feeling the symptoms, um, like anxiety and stuff. I don't know for sure. I used to think that he was faking all the time, but he was for real. But, um... So he had stopped working there too because I didn't work there no more. We was working there together. So we was back jobless. All we had was the car. And eventually the car got taken away. So we was back with nothing. Like, yeah, we was at a point where when I was pregnant, like, we was going to use the car as a place to straight sleep at. And yeah. the car was the only thing we had. Like, even though we was staying with people, like, you know, by us having a car, we was able to get up and leave so we don't got to sit around all day. We was able to do stuff like that. And he couldn't really work because he was like, had, had to be with me all the time because I was pregnant and I was like tagging along with him. So it's like he was with me half of the time, most of the time. So it was like everything was just doing so bad. And then I had tried to put my name on the list for appointments and stuff. And I was only 17 mm -hmm. and nobody didn't really want to mess with us. We was like looking for appointments nonstop. Yeah, well, we found St. Louis, it's, it's hard to yeah, get appointments and stuff. Yeah, so it was really hard. Like every day yeah. we woke up trying to grind. We woke up texting people like, remind y'all when we was working, we wasn't just spending the money on anything. We was really saving up. Yeah. So we always had like 900 to a thousand dollars. So if we could find somewhere, we yeah, would just get them. Yeah. yeah. So we just keep trying to find places like here we get y'all a thousand to move in. You know, we got a baby coming soon and yeah. we just trying to be stable for the baby. And nobody was understanding us. Yeah. Nobody like it was just getting so Man, they was hard. So much. They was asking for, uh, your, your ID, you gotta have uh, check stuff. Yeah, and like all that stuff. Man. And remind y'all, we wasn't working yeah. because we couldn't. We was going through like a stage where we basically was homeless and we couldn't really work for real. Like, right, we couldn't do it. So, um, <laughs> our daughter is looking at me like I'm slow. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. hurts. Hey. So, um, after that, uh, what, what I was just, what was the last part? Um. Uh, we couldn't work. Yeah, oh, so we got the car took. Did I say that already? But mm -hmm. they came and repo the car because we couldn't pay the car note of the car. We couldn't do nothing because, first of all, they didn't want to fish the car. So we got the car took. Now we don't have nothing. Like, we don't have a place to live. We don't have a car. We don't have nothing. And the baby, my baby get here in one month. Like, yeah, we were struggling so bad. Like, I was just crying every day, wishing God can make a way for me. And which is he did like and now it's like i'm grateful that he made a way and we in a stable place but it's like still problems with that like when people tell y'all wait on kids i think that's the, really the best choice yeah. like they not just unless y'all ready like really, yeah. really ready prepared and it, it's yeah. like it ain't even about being prepared because yeah. we had um by god the grace of god yeah. we found the place and they had called me back like six days before she was born. So yeah. that was good. So now we in our first apartment, two bedroom apartment, and it's cool. And we got a little car, even though it's old, you know, yeah. but we able to get around. Yeah. And that's not the only stress. Like I thought that was like the most thing we need, but now it's like, it's about working. Like it gets stressful. Like I want to go back to school. He got to work. We got to provide 
for the baby. We got to be able to pay rent. It's like we trying to do everything. And, like, all this stuff can get, like, real. My bad, y'all. So, all this stuff can get really hard. Like, I want to finish school. But I got to provide for my baby. I need to work. It's like he working now, right? And I'm at a point where I want to work nights while he working mornings. And then it's like, what about my baby and what about him? Like, our relationship going to be drained because we all we doing is working, working, working. Like, we're not seeing each other. It's like everything, like, I'm just trying to plan everything out. Then I want to go to school, but I go to school in the mornings and he work mornings. And my baby will have to be in daycare, so that's stressful. Like, I, it yeah, could really get hard. Yeah. Like, it's a lot with having a baby. It ain't easy as you think, like. Now, it is, it, right, it's not. And by me being like, this is my first child, I'm not really comfortable with putting my baby in daycare. And I forgot to tell y'all, we moved in a little city, like, away from all our family. Like, it's just me and him. We don't have nobody out here. So, it's, like, not easy as it is for other people. Like, I don't know. It get, it can really get hard and stressful. Yeah. But you just got to do it be for the strong. baby. Yeah, yeah stay just, strong, man. Baby's a blessing. Yeah. But we just try to be strong for her. And then we experience a lot, like, even with her. Like, being young parents, not knowing a lot. And a lot yes. of stuff, like, been going on. Like, breakouts and stuff with the baby. And us not knowing. Like, this stuff can really get hard. Especially, like, I, I feel like it's more hard for us because we moved in the city and we don't know nobody. So, we don't have no help. We don't have nobody, like, we can drop her off and, you know, get a couple days off. It, like, get hard for us. And, like, it really is. But that was just the first video. We will be on this channel posting a often. A lot. real consistent, y'all. Yeah. We're really trying to grind. Like, we, yeah. we got to think of something to do because, like, what I told y'all, I can't. I'm trying to finish school, but there's no way I can, like, put it in there. Like, it's getting hard, like. I don't know. So we so, need y'all support, man. Yeah. We need y'all support. We need y'all support. We, we need y'all to subscribe and like. Yeah, we need all that. Like, if y'all can help us by just subscribe or like, that could be a lot. Like, yeah, it could like be, yeah. it can mean a lot. So, thank you for watching this video. We will be posting every day. Every day. So, so join the sure family. Tune in. Yep. Yeah, join the family and support. And yeah, uh, see you later. See you guys later.